Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter. I think this is the fifth installment. Um, last episode we shot off at the end three rockets in a row, and we got ourselves a lot of uranium, iridium, all the good stuff, and I kind of put them away in here. Oops, did not mean to rename it. Didn't realize you can put signs on lockers. Well, they're already on it, but I guess that's what you get when you put them on backwards. Regardless, I don't think I'm going to change for now because we are actually going to be moving at some point. Not this episode. But uh, yeah, we got quite a bit of um, uranium. Um, I didn't mind... Oh wait, hang on. I'll take this blueprint chip real quick. And let's see what we get with that. Hey, we got agility boots tier 3. Uh, I don't even think I have tier 2 ones, do I? I do have tier 2, but what do we need to make tier 3? Oh. I don't even know where we can get explosive powder. I really want it though because I thought this was fast, but it really isn't after a while. Um, anyways, this episode we are going to actually be ramping up our heat production because there's ice in this cave. I think this one's already unlocked. I'm not too sure about the one up there. Um, I'll go over here first because I know this one should be done because I think it's only 150 or something heat. NK. And this one, I think, may be 500 k. So by the time we're done with this, we can go to that. Oh, we got water here. Didn't even know we got water here. So yeah, we definitely probably are going to have to move this base because this looks like it's all underwater. Hopefully this will last us a little while. I realize we are going to actually have to drink water from here because as the heat goes up, there's no more ice on the ground. So didn't really need to drink it, but I drank it anyway. I kind of want to shoot off another rocket. So I preemptively made one. So this rocket is actually going to give us some iridium. Well, you're going to need that for the heaters, and I can't find any in that cave. So here we go. So we're going to explore these caves, hopefully looking for that new material, osmium, and maybe some sulfur so we, that we can craft the new things. Uh, that's literally going to hit me, isn't it? I feel like they always hit me. I also nearly forgot. At the end of the last episode, as soon as I hit stop record, we unlocked this. This is going to be very helpful with all the materials that I really don't want to go out mining because it's coming a little scarce because while we have an atmosphere, I've noticed there's no more meteor showers dropping off resources. So yeah, that's, that's a good thing to keep in mind too. Um, let's get the rest of this iridium. I think there's one over here. Oh, they do leave a glowing rock, so it should be easy to spot them too. Oh, another thing. Um, somebody told me also that there's actually something on top of this ship. I said there was nothing because I was, you know, walking in midair there. But um, apparently if we go up here, there's a gold chest here right here. So that's nice. We got a little effigy, golden seed, some uranium and aluminum that I would like. And this stuff. Oh, okay, so here's the cave up here, and it's actually unlocked, so... But this is the ore we were looking for, the osmium ore. We're going to need the osmium ore to make the ore extractor that we got at the end of the last episode. Speaking of which, we also got a tier 3 or tier 5 backpack. So that's definitely something that we're going to be creating soon. But uh, we have enough for one extractor at the moment. Hey, look, is that sulfur? Yes, it is. So I'm assuming that's what we're going to need to make... Um, the explosive stuff but for now I'm just gonna grab with what I have here I nearly missed this one and I don't know when this will melt uh, five Ica I think it's definitely like five thousands I don't know five micron K whatever it is I'm just gonna say the UK uh, somebody can correct me there um, I'm not really good with the uh, measurements there's definitely one right there and I kind of want to grab it we cheese it? No. Oh well. Alright, so after a short excursion back there, um, yeah, I'm noticing the water's definitely coming in now. We can actually see it grow. And I'm actually low in oxygen. Let me get inside real quick. I just hope it doesn't affect my uh, grass growers here. Or grass spreaders. Um, so that's unfortunate that I built the base here. Uh, we might have to move up here. Or we can actually build a, like a ladder system going up. But it's cool, we got water. Uh, no lakes yet, though. I don't think so. Yeah, we're only 4% with lakes. So this is just a little bit of liquid water forming on our area. 
we got this golden effigy. So let's place that maybe hmm. Yeah, right here. Don't really use the power one. Got 28 though. Uh, I notice we have a lot to do. Well, let's make this backpack first. What do we need for the backpack? Oh, we're probably going to need the advanced crafter. There it is. So that's actually pretty cheap. Let me go get the materials for that. All right, all we need to do is take off my backpack. Thankfully, nothing will explode because I have nothing in my inventory. And get this tier 5. Ooh, that's a lot of space. Sweet. Uh, I'm kind of thirsty. I think I grabbed water, right? There we go. So these beans, let's keep growing these beans. It's nighttime, and it actually makes it easier to mine the um, materials that I just called a rocket for. So I'm going to go grab the rest of this over here, and then I'll meet you in that cave over there. So in the cave, I think it's just right up here. Oh, there's ice right there, and hey, it's open. Uh, I don't see any osmium, but this yellow fog definitely lets me know if it's like sulfur. So maybe this is our sulfur mine. Yeah, there's some sulfur here. Um, maybe I'll make a small base here. All right, I think we just got lucky here. Um, I found another opening, but for now I'm going to build a small capsule here so that we can get a good fresh air. So far, not that much found, but uh, in here it definitely looks like osmium, so... Ooh, it's blue. I like it. More sulfur, too. Don't know what we could do with sulfur yet. We haven't unlocked anything to do with it, but uh, I definitely will take more of this because I kind of want to get those mines going. This looks like the other side of where we were over there. Um, it's like, yeah, hold on, what does it say? Five. Yeah, I think that's just going to be a shortcut, which that was buggy. Maybe? We'll see. Uh, I'm going to continue mining the rest of the stuff here. All right, I think I took everything from in there. Fortunately, we already have nearly a full inventory. And there's still a lot more to explore in this area. Oh, there's, this goes further back to this weird looking cloud thing uh we'll just plant this down for now if it allows me okay so let's make a quick locker here this time facing the right way bioplastic nugget i have no idea what that is for um but i'll take it uh i don't really need these flowers but i will take this and the uranium can we go through this storm oh it's just like a giant wall wait can we go above it no so this looks like the limit um, but it looks like there's something here. No? Oh, oh. Hey, I saw this in the distance. There is a little tiny cave in here. And, oh my god, we got more osmium to pick. Endless supply of osmium. Though, I feel like we're going to definitely run out of this really quick. Because looking at the ore miner, I think this only picks up the, uh, the basic minerals such as aluminum and titanium. Uh, later on, you will unlock a, uh, looks like a hole. It is. Can we go? I don't know if I should be doing this. Um, well, this is early access for you. Can't really see anything. This side of the map. I'll just pretend I didn't do that. All right, I don't see much more in this area. I've been going through this cloud, this sulfur cloud or whatnot. That looks like a meteor. I just realized my oxygen's really low and I should go back. Maybe this would be a good spot to build a base because it's very flat. But then again, oh, this takes us up to the big ship that we haven't explored yet. Um, this map is a lot bigger than I thought. Kind of very barren over here. We will get to that uh, right after I go back and I deposit everything we just got because I'll forget about it. You know, even though we have a tier 5 backpack, um... I still have a lot back there to bring over. We got a long way to travel now. There really needs to be a faster way to travel because uh, it kills me every time. All right, so we're back from our little adventure there. Um, I ran out of space, so I had to make a little bit more lockers. And yeah, the water's really coming in nicely. So far, our base is actually fine, and I kind of want to leave it like this, so that's, that's good. Uh, let me show you what we found. So if you come up here now, we literally have half a locker of osmium. Um, I only wrote OZ because I didn't think it fit. And we have nearly a full locker of uh, sulfur. 
Good thing is, though, we can actually start making ore extractors if we really needed some materials. So that little funky area over there, um, I'm pretty sure that will actually grow, um, mine aluminum. But if I put it out here, it will probably mine iron. So I'm going to take all the uranium I have and turn it into rods. All right, that's all we have enough for. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the iridium. So we have enough materials now for the nuclear reactors again. Let's put down two more because we're going to need more power for what we're about to do. Um, can I not line this up correctly? Oh, there we go. And I think we'll put one more. I don't think we need more than two for now. Uh, take that water for me to drink. I do have enough to put more down if I wanted to. But we are now producing 201. So the next thing I want to do is build, I think, one or two of these... Um, drills here. So yeah, good thing I actually got the iridium rods, but uh, do we have enough alloys? Yeah, we got plenty of alloys. So let me go get the materials for that, and I'll come back to do the, the mines. Oh, they're not as big as I thought they would be. I, I would expect them to be as big as the launch pad. Uh, that's a weird floating spec. So if we put this here, it's going to mine for us. Cool. Um, let's see if I put it in the right spot. So yeah, it's going to mine iron in this location, and that's pretty good, as iron is one of those resources that I'm constantly looking around for. So the next one I'm going to build is actually over in this location. Now, if I place the miner here, as we can see, the soil looks a little different. So we'll put it right here, and this one should be mining aluminum, which is another material that I have a hard time finding. So thankfully... We got that going for us. Uh, there are tier 2 versions of them, and they mine the rare materials. I think it's time to explore this big ship. Uh, it's been staring at me for the longest time. And then maybe we'll go there, but for now, let's go here. So as I was coming across, I saw this ladder sticking out. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a tiny bunker. I'm glad I actually found that. That was pretty cool. Um, it definitely has a lot of rare resource stuff here. Um, I don't really need anything else. I don't even need the Nolnas. We know where that is. Uh, there is a Lerma. I don't know why. Can I deconstruct this? Because I don't want to build it. Because fabric's kind of expensive. Though I do have quite a bit now. Uh, let's read this message real quick. Uh, actually, unfortunately, my oxygen is still going down. So I'm going to do my little cheese thingy here. A little living compartment here. There we go. I did not mean to bring the food with me. Uh, let's see what this message says. Well, it sounds like this guy died from lack of water. He's in a too hostile area. Too bad it didn't land where I landed, because we seem to be doing quite all right. And let's go in here. Oh, this is not the entrance. I just saw a chest. Got fertilizer, though. Don't know what that's used for. Uh, I think that we can use that on the flower pot. Uh, just going to take what I think is useful, though. So far, nothing I can find. Oh, we can climb down this. And it's a little disorienting. Uh, nothing so far. The lockers are clear. Hey, there's two chests here. Don't know if we need the aluminum anymore, as we can mine it. Uh, I'll take the mushroom seeds, because I haven't grown those yet. I know I have some over somewhere else, but that was a chest full of iron. Um, not useful to me at all. Alright, so we went down this way and... That was it for here. All right, we went left last time. Let's go right this time. Need to deconstruct as per usual. This looks like a dead end here. Uh, there's a storm brewing outside, of course. Oh, wait, hold on. I saw some. Does that tell me to deconstruct that? Yeah, it was. Okay. Nothing too useful here. There is a ladder up here, so we'll definitely go up there. All right, we're going to leave the ship now because I don't see anything else on this ship. So again, two lockers worth. Um, got quite a bit of aluminum, which I don't think I need to bring back with me because we got the mine. But we definitely did get a lot of blueprints. So hopefully something nice comes from those. But for now, I'm just going to take the stuff I think is important. I don't have this, so I'm going to take it. I'm taking the bioplastic, even though I don't know what it's used for. And then the rest I will fill up with aluminum. I'll see you back at my base way that way. So the last place we need to explore that I know of is just that giant ring in the distance there. 
other than that, I think we have everything explored on the map. Um, definitely missing a lot of details. Definitely I'm missing a few things. There might be even more way back that way. But we had a crash ship there. Crash ship behind this. Crash ship over here. And then the one right here. And the one way up there. For And there's a lot of water and my grass spreaders are now sinking. Uh, I might move them. Maybe not. A launch pad pad seems to be doing fine. Water's really blue. It's nice. Oh, pod is finally underwater. Do we still get oxygen from it? We can. Uh, we can't swim. We're just walking in it. Alright, coming back from that crash site over there. We do want to look at these blueprints. Maybe we'll get something pretty good out of them. Mining speed tier 4. That'd be nice. Tier 2 satellite? I don't know what that's for. Ooh, big living compartment. And a display case. Which I'm assuming is for those effigies. Let me see this big living compartment. There we go. We got a nice big living facility. I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Ah, oh, sweet. This is what I wanted in the beginning of the game where there's no doors. We can. Oh, that's a little weird. And this is kind of off-putting now. Um, we might actually move that back in there. So we're definitely going to build a new base at one point. Um, just relocate it. I mean, we can probably expand it here, but we got this, and I really like this a lot. Um, but also, kind of want to craft the Tier 2 backpack, because the Tier 1 is garbage. So all we need for that is... One super alloy, one sulfur, one osmium, and one aluminum. And tier two. I want to see how good this thing is. So before it was pretty bad. Let's see what it is now. Oh, it's much faster. But... I don't know. It feels weird. We still sink. Can we go up higher though? Oh, we can. That's, that's pretty good. Alright. So everything's starting to sink under the water. And we just unlocked the nuclear reactor tier 2. That is perfect. So it may sound a little different right now. As I was editing this, I realized I didn't end the episode. Um, I kind of went on vacation. It's been around like 9 days. I scheduled some videos while I was away so that there was always content going up. And I forgot to end this video. So next episode, I think we're going to actually just take this all down and relocate it to higher ground. Um... We're just going to build it upwards, maybe, or something like that. And uh, just really rapidly grow our stuff. Um, like, all of our drills are underwater. And I'm pretty sure once they are submerged, they won't work anymore. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, hopefully, I see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to be a little bit more energetic, hopefully, because uh, I'm all rested. And uh, I'm feeling good. I'll talk about my vacation, if you want, in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>